Greetings folks, this video is all about ESC braking. That's when you set your ESC in the programming to stop the prop when the throttle is down at zero. Why do you want ESC braking? If the prop is not spinning when your plane lands, you've got a much better chance of not braking your prop. If it is spinning, it's more likely to hit the ground at a bad angle and possibly break the prop. That's one good reason. The other good reason is on gliders with folding props, the prop won't fold back unless the prop is stopped. If it keeps on spinning, stay unfolded, uh, creating a lot more drag. So for all my planes, I always set the ESC brake. Now, how do we do it? Well, there's a couple of ways. There's an ESC, a Turnergy Plush ESC. That's the only sort of ESC I ever buy because you can also buy a programming card for it. What you do is you plug the ESC into the programming card, power up the ESC, and all your options become selectable on the programming card. And I'll show you that in more detail in a couple of minutes. Uh, there's also the Aerostar ESCs. They're a little bit cheaper than the plush ESCs. And you can also buy a programming card for the Aerostar ESCs as well. If you don't have a programming card, then you need to look at the instruction manual for your speed controller. This one is for, I think it's a Volantex, whatever sort of ESC they use. This one is for the Turnergy Plush. And there's a series of movements you can do, uh, listening for tones from your motor or your ESC. A series of movements you can do with your stick to actually do the programming via your transmitter as well. Let's have a look at how we do this. So the easiest way is to have a programming card that suits your ESC. Turnergy Plus 30 Amp ESC, Turnergy uh, programming card. So we don't need a transmitter for this one. Just plug the BEC in. Make sure you get the polarity right because you can burn out these things if you do it the wrong way. Now we'll plug a battery into the ESC. And we'll get all the lights showing up for the different programming modes on uh, the programming card. So number one is the brake on or off. You can select on or off. It's flashing. So then you press the OK button, little blue flashing light down here, and you've programmed the ESC. All I ever worry about is the brake on or brake off. So that's the easy way to do it. Now the other way, if you don't have a programming card, you have to read the manual. Uh, most EECs work in the same way, so once you learn how to do it, you can pretty much guess how to do it with other ESCs. This one is a Hobby Wing Skywalker 20 amp ESC. I don't have an instruction manual for that one, so here's what we do. Connect it up on a plane bound to your transmitter. Now, with all ESCs, the first time you use it with a transmitter, you need to calibrate the uh, throttle range. The way to do that is you put the throttle to full, plug in the ESC, listen to the beeps. Two beeps, then down to minimum, and now we're ready to go, and we've calibrated the throttle range of the ESC. You have to do that for all ESCs. That's good now. Now... If you want to go further in the programming, you just have to wait a little bit longer for a musical sound after those two beeps. So let's do that again. Throttle up, plug it in, two beeps, wait. We're in program mode now and it'll step through different programs. One is the brake. Two is the battery type. Three is the cutoff mode. Four is the cutoff threshold. Five is the startup mode. Uh, that's the timing, number six. Let's set everything back to default, so I'll do that. So what I've done now is uh, set everything back to default, so the brake is off. Uh, let's just check that, shall we? See how the prop keeps on spinning when the throttle is down to zero, so that's a good demonstration. And uh, number eight is exit, so let's go back and reset the brake. Alright, same thing again. Throttle up to full, 
plug it in, wait. We're in program mode. That's the brake, so we go down. Now we get two options, brake off, brake on. I'll go up, it's accepted that. Back down again, normal startup. So that shows the brake on. Most ESCs will be programmed like that. Not all ESCs can be programmed, but most of them will. If it comes with an instruction manual, it'll explain all the different choices in your instruction manual, so hang on to that. But if you haven't got an instruction manual, just try it that way. We'll go through that again, throttle up full, wait for the musical sound, program mode, brake, so accept the brake, and now choose which option you want within the brakes, brake off, Sorry, brake on, brake off, I'll wait for brake on again, brake on, I want to accept that, so move the stick, that's been accepted, back to normal startup now, so we're ready to go. Brake is on, there you go, that's how to program ESCs. Thanks for watching.